Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel where we are discussing integrations with Logic App. In our previous demonstration, we have seen how to manage the Logic App from the Visual Studio Code. How do you create and design your workflow from Visual Studio Code? Now, in this quick demonstration, we are going to discuss how to deploy those workflow which you are managing from the Visual Studio Code. So in this case, we are going to take an instance of the same workflow and we'll deploy that workflow into our Azure portal right from the Visual Studio Code. Hi, my name is Rakesh Suryavanshi and you're watching Be An Honor. So this is the same instance of the Logic App workflow which we have, uh, which we have discussed in the previous, uh, which we have discussed in the previous video. Uh, if you haven't watched the previous episode, you can go to my series, which is this particular series and watch the previous episode to know how to manage the workflow from the Visual Studio Code. I'm trying to open the work workflow here in this particular section just to revise what do we have in this particular workflow. And this is one more workflow, which I'll show you how do I do that? How do we do that? So this is the previous workflow, uh, which is after HTTP, we are composing that particular message, which we receive in the HTTP request, and then we are sending it to the service bus queue, right? Now, if you would like to add a new workflow like I did, what you can do is you can go to the same Azure icon, you can create new workflow, and that will ask you to create which type of workflow you want to create. Let's say stateful, I'll say new workflow like this presenter and that will add a new workflow to your projects and if you go back this is a new workflow which is being added so th this is how you can in a single project you can add multiple workflow now let's discuss how do you deploy this workflow to deploy the workflow you need to again go back to the same azure icon or the azure extension which we have downloaded first of all you need to sign in to the account you can deploy it right here from this section of course after you have signed into the azure azure tenant so to sign into azure tenant i'm going to click here into the this particular icon or alternatively you can type a command by pressing f1 and you can type in azure i'll say sign in and you can use this option as well i'll click this option that will open the azure login prompt to sign into the account I'll provide my Azure username and password to connect to the account. If your account has access to multiple tenants, then all the tenants will be loaded. So, and now after that, you have to select a particular tenant. To select a particular tenant, again, you can press F1 and you can run the command Azure colon select tenant, which is this particular command. Similarly, you can have, a, if you would like to run or select a specific subscription within the tenant, then again, you can type in Azure colon, let me show you, Azure colon select, select. So you have two options, select tenant, select subscription. So first of all, I'm going to select a tenant so that I connect it to a particular tenant. I'll choose this option, I'll select a tenant. It will ask you to sign in again with that tenant, especially like it's going to be Azure AZ login dash T and then the ID of the tenant. I'll re-login again with that within that tenant. I'm logged in successfully to my Azure tenant. I'll see and expand if, uh, how many logic apps, existing logic apps I have. So this is the logic app which we have used in our previous demonstration. So now if you would like to deploy your changes to this existing instance, you can deploy it right here from this particular section by clicking here, deploy to the logic app or it, by selecting this logic app, which is nothing, just the same logic app, or you, alternatively, you can create a new instance of the logic app right here from this Visual Studio Code instance. I do not want to deploy to the existing logic app instance, so better for this demonstration, I'll create a new logic app. And for this, I'm going to select this option, create new logic app standard in advance. You need to provide the name of the logic app, which needs to be globally unique. Logic app name, I'm just giving you name here so that it, it makes it unique. Next option, you need to select the location in which you would like to deploy your logic app. So I'll be selecting UK South. And next option is uh, again, uh, the workflow uh, standard or the app series plan. Basically, you need to choose the hosting plan uh, 
to deploy your logic apps i'm going to select a workflow standard and there either i can create a new app service plan or i can use the existing app service plan where exact where my current logic app is deployed so i'll be using my existing logic app the app service plan because i don't want to create a new app service plan to save the cost I'll select an existing app service plan and for after that i need to choose specify the name of the resource group so i'll be using the same resource group where i have deployed my current logic app which is a logic app demo then i need to select or create a new storage account in case if i want to create a new storage account but i would again select a same storage account where i have which is being used for this logic app okay it says that do you want to connect to the SQL storage from the logic app? I would say no because my logic app doesn't require to have a, any connectivity to SQL server. It says uh, a application instance which you would like to use for your logic app. Let's see if we have any logic app existing application instance or you can also choose and choose a skip option. I'll just skip for now. And that's going to create a logic app instance in two step process as you can see from here it's basically creating a logic app with that name logic app name the name of the instance which is kind of a weird it might take a while to provision the logic app maybe a minute or two all right the logic app is successfully created in the azure portal now if i want to deploy i'll click again on this deploy logic app instance and this time instead of creating a new logic app i'll select the logic app which we have created previously and that says are you sure you want to deploy your source code to this logic app instance i would say yes i'm sure you can also see the console window to get the idea of the deployment as you can see it is trying to deploy uh, created the zip package starting the deployment and now it's basically extracting and deploying the logic app the deployment says it succeeded it's loading the reloading the logic app again i can expand the logic app and see if my workflows are getting deployed or already been deployed or not i'll just expand the workflow section and you can see that all my workflows are already there so this is my local version of workflow and if i just open this let me see that if i can let me open in designer so this is going to be a remote version or the actual azure version of the workflow so this is the remote uh, this is our workflow in the azure instance and these are the some of the app settings which is basically created when you deploy the logic app right now that's option number one we have all our workflows which are being basically created and deployed successfully which is pretty cool and easy you can also look at the uh, you can also look at the run history of the the individual workflow right here from this particular section I, by clicking on overview and that will show okay these are the run history for the remote instance of your logic app not the local instance right now the second option to deploy your logic app is right here from this particular project option so if you right click anywhere in this project you will get an option deploy to logic app and again if you right click on and select this option you will get in the same option what do you want to do do you want to deploy to which logic app do you want to create a new logic app you choose the same options it's just the menu item is different again it will ask for the confirmation if you say select all and you will your code will be deployed i'll choose the op output window and see all the actions which is be or the different steps which are getting performed for my deployment this is the azure cli deployment command which is uh, which basically it is running to deploy the code so this is our service bus connection string which we have added as a parameter and this is a web job uh, so I am going to delete these settings because otherwise it will use the local storage which is something we don't want. Let me save this. And these were the workflows which we had uh, in our local Visual Studio instance and all of them are successfully uploaded and deployed as you can see from here. So that's it in this video and you can uh, 
we have demonstrated how to deploy the logic app from visual studio code to your azure instance and i hope you have found this useful and you can manage your workflow deployment right from the visual studio code and at the same time you can deploy the same configuration to the azure portal as well thanks i hope it is helpful thanks for watching it see you in the next video